and welcome back baseball fans as the four and two melon heads are on the road to take on the three and three red Sox. melon has just recently taken the lead of their division seeing if they can hold out on it now this melon head team has completely turned its head around after losing the first two games they've won four in a row including their absolute oh, destruction of the athletics recently and Ichiro takes the first pitch for a strike. Takes the next pitch for ball. We'd expect to see a bunt here from Ichiro. That's the strategy that's been working so well for them. And we do, in fact, see a bunt from Ichiro. And he is going to beat it out. Now they've also had Dante bunt before, but I don't think they're going to go for that here because Ichiro is trying to steal. <laughs> And each row steals second easily. We try to pick him off unsuccessfully. The and there goes each row to third, and he is going to make it. That way was so close, it was practically behind me. Oh, two to Dante, though. He takes the first ball of the at bat. One and two. And Dante strikes out swinging. But Ichiro does get to third and is at bat. Danny Sosa. Strike one. Swing, swung right through it. Sosa with an absolute shot to straightaway center. And he is going to be thrown out at second. That'll go down as an RBI single in the books. Next up is Jim Tomei. Tomei! Jim Tomei goes yard. Literally in the yard. <laughs> and that gives the Melonheads a 2 to nothing lead now. That definitely makes Sosa getting thrown at second hurt a little bit more. And Ahmed with a fly ball to center field. And that will end the inning. We go to the bottom the of Melon Heads get two, as the first up. inning continues Zero to be to big for them. Two. Pedro Martinez on the mound again with his 6.32 ERA. He got shocked a little bit early in the season. He's been settling, settling in. He's still prone Zero. to give up the occasional home run. And Pedro, Pedro makes the catch. Pete Wheeler. Wheeler. Expecting a bunt, but they don't get a bunt. Instead, it's a base hit. Pete Missing. Wheeler. <laughs> a hard shot. Oh, and that ball is smoked. Dante can't get it. Each row is going to throw home. The throw will not be in time. You can never have too many runs, Sonny. Yeah, just like that, it is two to one. Red Sox came ready to hit. That should clear the bases. And that's going to tie the game up at two. They definitely came out ready to swing against Pedro today. And it will not help his ERA right here. It is 3-0 and and Pedro cannot find the strike zone. And he walks him. You're starting to see the Melonheads manager start to panic a little bit. There he goes. He finds his own again for strike one. Strike two. There you go. That's the Pedro we, we've been used to seeing. Ichiro makes the catch. Four out number two. Devecchio gets the out. And that ends the inning as they, as the Red Sox tie it at two to two. 
Piazza del Vecchio Gatto up for the Melon Heads here in the second. Fans of the Melon Heads were huge on Gomo Arigato when he had his walk off home run. I mean, not walk off home run, but his first home run of the game in game two. But he has not hit well since then. As Piazza takes strike one. Piazza hits this one to left field. George Colby. And it is caught for the first out of the inning. Tony Del Vecchio up next. I don't know how that was a foul ball, but it is. 0 2 now to Tony. Smoke shot to second. But right at him. Gomo Arigato. This is the park he hit his home run at, too. And he's going to fly out to the first baseman. And that ends the inning. A quiet inning for the Melon Heads here in the second. Pedro's ERA goes above seven now after that first inning as he looks to try to fix his pitching. He spent a long time talking to the pitching coach during that inning. And he gives up a base hit on the first pitch of the inning. Settling into the box is Pedro Chekhov. And they're going to steal second pretty easily. Leans in for the sign. And it's a bunt. Picks it up. Got him. It's a good bunt. Almost ran it out. One out, runner on third. This is some kind of day for baseball, and there is some kind of hitter at the plate. This is a big at bat of this game so far. Can Pedro deliver? As it is two and one now. Three and one. Pedro's having a tough time finding strikes. Ground ball to Pedro, gets the out. That is a crucial out. Next up, Pete Wheeler. Swing and a miss for Pete. Oh, it takes a good fastball high and in. Two. One and two is the count. And he just can't locate that put away pitch. Strike three. Got him. At the end of the inning, the score is even at two. And a quiet inning for the Red Sox as well, as it's still tied two to two heading into the third. It's Pedro Ichiro Dante leading this inning off for the Melon Heads. Pedro's one of those hitters that just is waiting for his big breakthrough. He's hit the ball a ton, and he's hit the ball well. Always just right at somebody. Just like that. And he grounds out for the first out of the inning. Next up, Ichiro. Ichiro lifts it to right field. Caught for the second out of the inning. Dante's up next. One. Dante butts it foul for the first strike of the at bat. Takes ball two. Dante with a perfect bunt. Most people in this league are running that bunt out. That was flawless. Sosa's up next. Ball one. Takes a peek. Sosa takes the second ball of the at bat. Tuno. There goes Dante. Sosa smacks it to center field. Caught. And that will end the inning. The score is tied at two. Lots of good play out there. Still two to two as we head to the bottom of the third. And as we continue to look for that breakthrough inning for either team. Stepping up to the plate 
George Coleman. The picture looks in. Good pitch, just just low. Oh, and Sosa dives for it, but can't get it. That's gonna give up at least an extra base. Gotta give credit to Sosa. He laid out for it, just missed it. And Pedro comes back and gets the quick out. Strike one. Leans in. Delivery. No, takes it for a ball. Dante lays out for it, but can't get it. Each was gonna throw it into second. They're gonna send him home. Got him! What a relay throw. Pedro loves that. Ground ball to Tony, and he's going to can't step on second. Bruh. Stepping up to the plate, head up, EB. You're kidding. This batter always reminds me of the short guy from that movie about baseball. Out of the strike zone. Here it comes. A swing and a miss. There's the there. bunt, a two out bunt. Interesting. Interesting call. Hit. Right back to Pedro, who makes the catch and ends the inning. At the end of the inning, the score is even at two. And just like that, we head to the fourth as the game is still tied two to two. Jim Tomei, Ahmed Khan, Mike Piazza up for the Melonheads. Tomei has really well, turned his season Tomei. around. And that's a fly out, flying out to the first baseman. Ahmed Khan. I can't remember the last time my father did strike out. And I can't remember where I put my nachos. A big swing Swings and a through the pitch for the first strike. Whoa. Swung through it. One and two. Ahmed with the absolute laser to the second baseman. But a dive for the second out. Piazza trying to get something going for the Mountain Heads here in the fourth. Oh, good pitch. And Piazza spikes that into the ground, and he will be thrown out at first. And that ends the inning. As we head to the bottom of the fourth, it is tied two to two. Melonheads just have not done anything offensively since the first inning. Settling into the box is Amy Boswell. Foul ball. Strike two from Pedro finds that corner. When he's finding that corner on that curveball, you know that's a good sign. Strike three. Got him. Stepping up to the plate, Petra Chekhov takes a quick look. Delivery. Strike one. The pitcher looks in. Pitch. Ball low. For the sign. Pitch. Strike two. Looks in for the sign. Pitch. And the slow mo pitch over strike three. Settling into the box is Zena Pro. Pedro's starting to look a little tired out there on the mound. The question being how how much longer the manager's gonna leave him out there. And it's a fly out to left field. That will end the inning. Still tied two to two. We head to the fifth inning. Still tied 2-2. Two to two. It's Del Vecchio, Gato Martinez. These are their three weakest hitters. Or the lowest performing hitters right now. I don't know if I can say the weakest hitters, but the lowest performers. The plate, Tony Del, Vecchio. Del Vecchio leading it off. And Del Vecchio tries to square around for a bunt. Can't, can't get it down, though. 
Lays the bunt down this time, right back to the pitcher, and Tony is out. Go Momori Gato's up next. Fly ball to right field, caught for the second out. Pedro's up next. He's desperate for something. This is the kind of batter you like facing as a pitcher. Because you know he's going to be swinging. Up the middle, a base hit as Pedro beats the throw to first. What a shot! Each row's up next. And he bunts it foul. Bunts that one in fair territory. And he beats it out. Wow. As the Red Sox change pitchers. As they try to pick off Ichiro from first. Interesting move. They try to do it again. Ichiro's not the one stealing, so that's kind of weird. Dante tries to square around a bunt, can't get it to fall though. But it's foul. Dante's got to swing away now. Dante rips it to the left fielder, but caught. And we head to the bottom of the fifth, still two to two. And the question reigns on how long will they keep Pedro in? And Pete Wheeler with a shot up the middle. I think that's going to spell the end of Pedro's day. And that's exactly what it means. And they're going to bring in their best performing pitcher so far in Sosa. Too many fast pitches will throw any pitcher's arm out. I can Tries to pick off Pete Wheeler at first. They're paying player. close attention to him because he is a speed demon. Like he leads the Red Sox in stolen bases. No! Still gets the out. I meant to throw to second. <laughs> now batting, Cameron but they get the out at first, at least. Ground ball back up to the pitcher. Sosa throws over to first for the second out. Into the box is Aaron Harris. One more out, and Sosa can get out of the inning. Strike one. That was a sick screwball from Sosa. Dante throws it home, and they're going to give up second. Settling into the box is Bobby Bogreen. I can't imagine what this batter is thinking about right now. Unless it's a chili dog. Got it. Ends the inning. Defense stands on his head. Gets it done. We go to the final frame here with a score. The Red Sox 2. The Melon Heads 2. And as we head to the final inning... Melonhead's got the heart of the lineup coming up. Sosa, Tomei, Khan. These are their three biggest power hitters. Can the Red Sox keep them off the board and then score on the bottom of the inning? Only time will tell. Tomei already has a home run this game. Sosa was awfully close to one. Sosa with a shot to center field, but it is caught. For the first out. The Tomei, fly ball. Pete Wheeler's there. Not the way the enemy. Not the way the Melon has thought the assignment would go. Ahmed! Off the fence! They're just gonna send him back, and that was the smart choice. He was gonna get thrown out. Mike Piazza's up next. Ahmed almost. Almost, Ahmed. 
Piazza, fly ball, caught by the second baseman. We're down to the final three outs with a score. The Red Sox two, the Melonheads two. Bottom of the six, tied at 2-2. Can the Red Sox find a winner here? Against Sosa, who is yet to allow a run. Let you get to allow an earned run, that is. He's allowed unearned runs or runs that were other pitchers' responsibility, but still. Pitcher's gonna have to buckle down and make some good pitches against this lineup. Out of the strike zone. Oh, and Pedro can't get to it. And so the winning run is now aboard with nobody out. And they pick him off at first. Oh, you can't be doing that if you're the Red Sox. Oh, no way. Bunt, and he's going to beat it out. So the winning run is back on first with one out this time. And they're going to steal second pretty comfortably. Winning run on second now. Leans in. Here it comes. Two on the count. Leans in. Delivery. They're gonna use a power up here for strike two. Strike three. Sosa gets the strikeout on the smoke ball. Strike one. Leans in. Strike two. Can Sosa get him out of this inning? Pop flies center field. Ichiro settles under it. He drops it. I can't believe they weren't sending the runner home there. Wow. And that gives the opponents a power up. Ball one. Ichiro drops the inning ending fly ball here in the bottom of the sixth. I cannot believe it. And he gets him swinging. Strike three. Got him. And Sosa gets out of the inning. I cannot believe it. And we head to extra innings once more for the Mellowheads. It is tied 2-2 two to two still. Stepping up to the plate, Tony Del Vecchio. Tony Del Vecchio leading it off. With a smoke shot to center field, but it is caught. Settling into the box is Gomo Arigato. The shot to right field gonna be caught. Stepping up to the plate, Pedro Ugh. Martinez. Pedro's up next. Ball one. I definitely think Pedro's looking for a walk here. Ball two. Ball three. And the count goes to three and Ball four. Pedro draws the walk. What an at-bat from Pedro. What a time to have that at-bat, too. And they're keeping an eye on Pedro. They're keeping a good eye on Pedro. Ichiro tries to bunt it down third, but it goes foul. Ichiro tries to square it around again, but he can't. It's 0-2 now. And he can't put it fair. Scores tied at two. It's moments like this that make me glad I retired. And as we head to the bottom of the seventh, can the Red Sox find a winner here now? At that now Both teams scored two Coleman. runs in the first, and neither team has scored since. <clears throat> that is a smoke shot down right field. Dante gets to it. What a catch by Dante. This kid's got style. Just 
watch the way he flunks the round flying thing with that stick that he's got. Another huge... Grab all the Dante. He's gonna try to throw him out at first, and he got him! Dante. Making it up defensively this inning. And Sosa continues to throw strikes and deal here. That's into the gap. It's going to drop. And that puts the winning run on with two outs. Strike one. Piazza picks it up over to first. And he will end the inning. <laughs> And we head to the eighth inning. Still tied at 2 2. Dante, Sammy, and Jim Tomei. This is the part of the lineup that the Melon Heads want up in this situation. Can they actually bring home a run? That now, we've got Dante Robinson. I've heard that this kid eats 10 strawberry waffles before each and every home game. Dante Come can't up. get it. Can't get a swing off. He tries to bunt it. Foul. Dante with the shot up the middle. Caught by Pete Wheeler. Sammy Sosa is up next. Shot to right field. Caught. Jim Tomei. Trying to get something for the melon heads. And it looks like he might have something caught by the right fielder at the fence. As we head to the bottom of the eighth, still tied two to two. Something's got to break eventually. And that's going to get through into the gap for extra bases. They're going to get there to second. Ball one. Strike. Get some swinging at a ball right there. Just missed it. Two and one counts now. Almost a diving catch. But no, it's running around first and second. Nobody out. This does not bode well for the melon heads. Sosa gets strike two. Get some swing in strike three for the first out of the inning. Now batting Cena Pro from the stretch. It's a bunt. It's got to go to third because he had no play at first, and its base is loaded. I don't think I can bring the infield into this game, can I? <laughs> I don't think I'm able to do that. Strike one. What a great first pitch of the at bat. And that's going to end the ball game right there. They don't send him. They don't send him. And that is out number two. And that's going to get through. Dante can't get it. And that's going to end the ball game. And the Melonheads lose a heartbreaker in eight innings. And the final score, the Melonheads two, the Red Sox three. And that'll end the Melonheads winning streak. Yeah. And we're here, we're here with the, with the manager of the Melonheads. What, what gave away the game? Well, we scored two runs in the first. We were hitting pretty well. 
and we just could not get anything else after that. We had a lot of good hits, just happened to be right at people. They made a lot of heck of defensive plays. And on, on defense, we just couldn't make the play when it when it mattered the most. We had, what, five errors that game? It's not a recipe for success. Pitchers were great. We only gave up three runs, even with all the base runners on. So we're going to look to right the ship, and we'll see you in the next one. That's baseball, baby. And that is indeed baseball. There are a few awards for the team after this game. Mr. Clanky handed out five career home runs to Jim Tomei. Ten career hits to each row. And that's all for our awards that for this game. Let's see what that does to the league's hangs. The Melonheads still lead the division at a 4-3 record. The Red Sox now are tied for second in their division with the Yankees at 4-3. The Orioles continue to be 7-0. All well, the undefeated team in baseball are the Baltimore Orioles. Thank you for joining in another episode of Backyard Baseball. And as always, see you later, you melonheads.